Hi everybody, we are going to practice naming alkanes using both the skeleton and the condensed formulas. Now I wrote here in the brown just a real quick overview of how to name our alkanes. You're looking for the longest chain of carbons. It doesn't have to be straight, it can be bent. Um, count the carbons so that you always get the lowest numbers. You're going to write substituents in alphabetical order and remember that we use a comma in between numbers and we use dashes in between letters. Let's begin. Uh, so let's begin with number one. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's going to be my longest chain. Notice I could go one, two, three, four, five. Can't stop there at six, seven, eight. Oh my goodness, let's do that. One, two, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, hit seven. Okay. So I see my longest chain is seven and we have two substituents. I have a methyl group here and here. So let's see, which way should we count our carbons? Left to right or right to left to get the smallest numbers? I could go one, two, three, four, five. So two and five or one, two, three, four, five, six, three and six. The two and the five are going to be our smallest numbers. So let's write down first those substituents. Remember, we always end with that long chain. So we're going to have two, five. Remember this would be on the, let me show you, that's my two carbon and my five carbon if I count them. Two, five, I put a comma, dash, because I started a letter, dimethyl, and my longest chain had seven carbons. There's heptane, heptane, because they're all single bonds. So two, five, dimethyl, heptane, nice. Let's look at this skeletal structure. So I count my carbons, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can tell that that's going to be our longest chain. If I start here and count, or start here and count, here, count, here, count, I'm not going to get that nine. So my longest chain, chain is going to be nine. Then I notice that we have two substituents. I have one right here and one here. Well, let's see, how can we get the smallest numbers possible? I'll count left to right and right to left. We have one, two, three, four, so I'm Hold up my fingers, four, five, six, seven. So seven, four and seven, remember that. Or we could start left to right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Three and six are going to be our smallest numbers. So I have three comma six, my three carbon and my six carbon. Dimethyl, because you've got two methyls. Dimethyl, nonane, because the nonane was my longest chain. Okay, so again, the three carbon, the six carbon, I had two methyl groups, dimethyl, oops, sorry, I forgot the L on that, dimethyl, and then my longest chain was nine, all single bonded, no name, very good. Let's look at this condensed form right here. Now, I want to break this out, how it would look, it will help you visualize and then be able to name this. So I have my two CH3s with this carbon. This carbon would look like this. You'd have your hydrogen, there's a CH3, and a CH3. If you need to write it out so you can name it, write it out. That's great. Uh, so I would have a one and a two. Remember, long is continuous chain, not straight chain, continuous chain. So I would have to count one, two. So there would be one, one of these, two, and I've got three of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six. My longest chain is going to be six. Now let me show you that really quick. So I'd have my carbon and then one, two, three, and then your CH3. One, two, three, four, five. Let me did, so there's my one carbon and here's this carbon and three of those, one, two, three. Oh, sorry, I did one too many carbons. There we go. Nice, and then just fill in all of the hydrogens to match that. So notice, uh, I end up with just one methyl group right here. Okay, one methyl group. So this is my one carbon, my two carbon. So we are going to say two methyl. Notice there's no di in front of that because I've only got one methyl. By saying methyl is understood to be one. So there's my second carbon and that's where that substituent's attached. So two methyl hexane is where this substituent is attached in that long chain. Nice. Let's do number four. We have another skeletal structure here. Uh, let's count our chains. See what's going to be our longest continuous chain of carbons. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's count from here. One, two, 
three, four, five, six. Oh, it's the same. And you'll notice either way we look, if I do this chain of six, there is an ethyl group. Or if I do this chain of six, there's an ethyl group. You'll still get the same name. So my longest continuous chain is hexane. I can look at it this way or I can look at it this way. I like the linear. I like to look straight. So let's do straight since we have an option on this one. Now let's count how can we get the smallest number of carbons for the address that we give the substituent. One, two, three, or one, two, three, four. All right, counting from right to left is going to give us our smallest substituent number. Remember I say the long chain, that's like the house and the substituent attaches to it. And we have to just say where it attaches on that house. So this is one, two, three, the third carbon. So on the third carbon, we have two carbons. That's an ethyl group. Remember two carbons, eth, to say it's a, a substituent, you add the ending YL. So this is going to be on the one, two, third carbon, an ethyl group, three ethyl, because it has two carbons and it's attached as a substituent. Our longest chain is the hexane, three ethyl hexane. Again, six carbons, all single bonded. That's why that was hexane for the parent chain. Okay, ooh, this one, it looks just a little messy. Let's count our longest chain. So I'm gonna start right here. One, two, three. I know we can't go there to finish, four, I know that this is shorter than what's over here. Five, there's another little substituent. Six, and it doesn't matter if you go here or here. Seven. So it looks like our very longest chain, and we actually highlight this for you. It's right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. There's our longest chain, which means we're going to have a substituent here attached at this carbon. I have a substituent. There's a substituent there one here and one there. And we want to give these the smallest numbers, the smallest address possible. So we could go, let's check this out. One, two, three, four, okay, great. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, no. So we're going to go right to left to give the smallest numbers. Now let's look at this. I have a methyl group, a methyl group, and a methyl group, three methyl groups. And then I have one ethyl group. So when you have multiple substituents, you always write them in alphabetical order. We're going to write the ethyl first, and it's located at the one, two, three, four. So four ethyl, because there's two carbons there, one, two. And then let's do our methyl groups. This is at the one, two, three, four. So, oh, one, two, three, four, five, sorry, five. So there's your two, three, five. There's three methyl groups. That's trimethyl, and sorry, you ran out of room. Heptane. Our longest chain, continuous chain, the parent chain, had seven carbons, all single bonded. So four ethyl, two, three, five, trimethyl, heptane. Wow, <laughs> good job. Let's do one more. And this one also kind of looks like a mess. So let's find our longest parent chain. So there's one carbon, then I've got three here, right? That parenthesis telling us that we have three of those. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or five, six, or five, six, seven, or five, six, seven, eight. I counted all the options of where we could have a parent chain. The longest parent chain, very clean and nice, is the linear one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here are my substituents. I have a substituent here, one here, and one here. Thanks, Keith, good night. Good night. So we're going to name those. I have two methyl groups, one ethyl group. Uh, the ethyl group, let's count. We could go one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four. The three and the four will be smaller. Since I have two different types of substituents, we write these alphabetically. So we're going to have four ethyl, one, two, three, four. There's my four carbon. Right there, there's my four carbon, there's my three carbon. Four ethyl. And then three, four, oh, I forgot. I made a mistake, everybody. It's a dimethyl, because you got two methyl groups. Dimethyl, dimethyl, and my longest parent chain, octane. Eight carbons, all single bonded, so it's octane. Let's say it one more time. Four ethyl, three, four, dimethyl, octane. Nice, good practice.
Look how cool that looks and enjoy the fact that you can do that. That's pretty impressive. All right, you guys, have a good day. Thanks.